Time now to check in with Coindesk Global Policy and Regulation Managing Editor, Nick Day, who is also the editor of Coindesk's The State of Crypto Newsletter. Hello there, Nick. Welcome to the show. So, you know, yesterday we talked about the IRS. The U.S. Treasury is now calling for businesses to report crypto transfers of more than $10,000 to the IRS. Do you have an update or further thoughts on that? Yeah, so this actually looks like you're really aligning crypto transactions uh, with what the current uh, requirements are for cash. You know, we saw this kind of same proposal come through FinCEN at the end of December as part of the really controversial rule change proposal that the uh, that FinCEN proposed at the time. But this was the part that, you know, most parties kind of said, you know, this is reasonable. This is basically what the cash requirements are. It makes sense that crypto transactions, you know, should be treated similarly. So uh, in practical terms, what does this mean? I, I, are, are we going to start seeing this uh, box checked off in the uh, on, on your uh, tax returns or corporate tax returns? Or is it does it require any kind of uh, uh, oversight from Congress or, or can the Treasury just implement this with, in, in the upcoming year? I'm not sure about the specifics of how uh, the IRS might implement this, but it sounds like this is more going to be on the exchange side or on the, you know, if a financial institution of some kind is trying to, is, you know, receiving more than $10,000 in a transaction or uh, $10,000 in aggregate transactions in a single day, um, it would be incumbent on the institution to be reporting this to the IRS versus the individual. Um, the individual, I think, would still have to pay the taxes, but, you know, that, again, right now, the way it works is the exchanges file a tax form to the IRS, and then the individual, you know, traders or users have to make sure that what they're reporting aligns with what the exchange reported. Nick, there seems to be some updates on the status of the digital dollar or the U.S.'s plans for a digital dollar. What is happening in that area? Yeah, so yesterday, Fed Chair Powell uh, gave a speech where he said that there is going to be a you know paper published this summer about the uh, you know the Fed's research into a CBDC. Um, this is nothing new. He said this in March. I you know we have had numerous outlets treat this as like a breaking news story, but you know he said the exact same thing he said two months ago. There's going to be a research paper published this summer. It's going to address concerns like privacy and consumer protection. And, you know, my guess is like we're not going to see anything, you know, about the Fed actually committing to publishing a digital dollar, but we'll get a better sense of how they're looking at this and how they're approaching this and, you know, what some of the concerns are that you know, the Fed might have around the use of digital currencies in the U.S.